Welcome to the SC2K show. This is Ron Moore along with We Got 309 and for the first time in a while, Jeff from Strictly Sega America. How's it going, guys? I'm a tornado. Fantastic go. America! No, um, and this podcast, if you haven't read the title yet, which I'm sure you have, is about video game music and video game characters. Our favorite video game music and video game characters. Okay, and uh, that was a lame, wow, Ron. Wow. lame introduction. Wow, lame introduction. Great introduction. <laughs> yeah. And so, uh, yeah, video game music. Um, I don't think nobody in this podcast knows more about video game music than we guy, even though he has no taste in video game music. <laughs> but, Shut um, it. Crash Dummies. Shut um, it. <laughs> you suck, we guy. Uh... <laughs> uh-huh. All right, um... So, I guess I'll start out with some of my favorite video game tunes of all time. Um, i got to start out with Mega Man 2. I mean, that game, Capcom did an ECW job with that soundtrack. I mean, that. I mean, if it wasn't for the... I mean, let's face it, without music and video games, it would definitely not be the same. I don't care how good the gameplay is or the graphics. Without music, video games would pretty much suck. I mean, you know, music is just the part of life where... Uh, it, it, Sounds corny, but it moves your soul. Or, uh, yeah, I mean, it really, yeah. it, it's, I mean, music would suck. I mean, music, life would suck without music. Yeah, music would suck without life. Huh? Um, and, I mean, video game music. I mean, that's why there's some bands out there, you know, like uh, Mini Bosses and uh, the Konami Code and et cetera. Yeah, th- there's a. Oh, there was just a band I heard about on Nerds of the Third. They're really good. They do, like, really, really, I can't think of the name right now. They do off, like, song you know off game bands that like nobody knows about and, and see there's some awesome video game music out there that oh, yeah. there's bands you know making uh remaking them to like you know rock versions or whatever i yeah. mean yeah i mean there's some video game music is some of the best music in the world i mean in, in the soundtrack in Mega Man 2 i mean you got uh you got flashman is one of my favorites in the beginning it sounds like james bond music yeah. Kind of like the beginning where it shows him, you know, that little circle aiming toward him, and then he shoots you. And uh, but uh, and then you got let's see, Woodman's pretty catchy. Uh, Airman, Bubble Man. Uh, do you happen to know who composed the music in Mega Man Two? We got yes, but I can't pronounce the name tonight because I'm new. But that it's like uh, I don't know, Manami Matsume and Yoshiro Sakakuji, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Capcom uh, is ha- pretty much always been good, just like Sunsoft. Capcom has always been good with making awesome video game music. I mean, they did an awesome job with Street Fighter as well. I mean, um, and so let's see what else. Some other favorite soundtracks. Uh, you know, speaking of Street Fighter, you got Street Fighter 2 series and also Street Fighter 3 Third Strike has some good music. Um, Konami, they had awesome Castlevania music. Uh, like some in Simon's Quest, you got Bloody Tears. That's where Bloody Tears originated from. Um, and let's see, you got uh, Contra. Who could forget, who forget the music in Contra? Me. I because I, <laughs> I didn't play it that much. I mean, uh, and Super Contra as well. Super C. And Contra Hard Corps. Yeah, I, I played that, one, but that was so long ago. I vaguely remember that. But um, I'm sorry, Jeff, but the Super Nintendo sound chip makes the sound in. <laughs> Super you know Nintendo sound you, you in the sound chip in the mode seven can go kiss my ass. I'll go play the Sega CD Terminator Two on the Sega CD. That music will. Well, well I'll, I'll tell you what though. At least Sega Genesis has Street Rage One and oh, Two, not, which no. some of the best techno techno music, video game music I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> and Street Rage Two. I mean, oh man, Angel said it was the best techno music he's ever heard in his life. Is in Street Rage Two. And. I wish I could say the same about Street Race 3, but that game blowed chunks. Yeah, uh, I mean, oh, man. I, what, I, what about from uh, Shinobi 3? The music was really good on And Revenge of Shinobi, they had some pretty good songs. Oh, yeah, Shinobi 3, oh, yeah. I mean, the music... In, that, that game is just great. It's a great game, and you get good music. Exactly. Yeah, great use of the Genesis sound chip. Yeah, yeah. Um, now, some of the... Music in Street Fighter 2 Special Champion Edition for the Genesis sounded better than in Street Fighter 2 Turbo for the Super Nintendo. So certain songs vary for each system. Like I mean, even though Super Nintendo had a better sound chip, 
I don't think <laughs> the music could sound better for Street Fighter Rage 2. I don't think it could sound better on Super Nintendo because it's it just just the way it, it came off on the Sega Genesis. How can you top that? How can it get better on another system? Oh, it can find its way. I mean, yeah. well, yeah, I mean, to, with today's technologies and you remix and stuff, I'm talking about back then. I mean, whether it's Turbo Graphics 16, Super Nintendo, 3DO, or whatever. Um, yeah, yeah. The, well, the, the 3DO is kind of like uh, your special cousin that you don't talk about in front of his face, but you make fun of his mind's back. Yeah. And Turbo Graphics 16 is like that little brother who's like, hey, look what I can do, look what I can do. Uh, no. Uh-oh, Star Soldier's not going to like hearing this. Um, no, uh, I'm not insulting him that much. I call the 3DO up. What do you say, Jay? Oh, it sucks. To remember, 16 sucks. I agree with Jeff. Oh, uh, <laughs> Dr. Will, come to your house now. <laughs> but, um, oh, yeah, and let's see. What else before I pass it on to one of you guys' personal favorites? Um, uh, Mega Man 3, of course, Mega Man 4, 5, and Mega Man 6, the remix version for PS2, Anniversary Collection, awesome music. Um... Let's see, Cure Instinct has some awesome freaking music. I mean, for the original Cure Instinct and Cure Instinct Gold. Mortal Kombat, eh, it didn't have too many songs in there. I think that I really liked. Um, but let's see. Uh, and that's probably all I can think of on the top of my head. Uh, of course, we got mentioned in Sonic the Hedgehog music. Sega. Oh, yeah. And the awesome. Uh, and Zelda, of course. Zelda has some epic music, especially in Ocarina of Time and Link to the Past. Majora's Mask. Yeah, I didn't really like that game too much. It, it is a no good game. But... I hate you all. Majora's <laughs> Mask does not compete with uh, Ocarina of Time. There's no way. It's just... Yeah. Uh, how about the music in Metal Gear Solid? Oh, God, that is my favorite soundtrack. I can listen to that one day. I actually have the soundtrack. It's all right. Yeah. yeah. Of uh, do not kiss the Metal Gear Solid soundtrack. Well, I'm saying it's bad. I'm saying it's just it's a good. fully orchestrated soundtrack. What about Final Fantasy VII? That's a soundtrack I can. I like, yeah, I like sound chips. I like the I like the chip tunes. Yeah, I I love like the one song I always get stuck in my head is the motorcycle chase music. It's very catchy. But yes, uh, there's there's a lot of, there, and the PlayStation has a lot of good soundtracks like uh, like Eve. If anyone's ever played that, it has some really good music to it. It oh. has a wide variety, but yeah. Mario Kart. And Mario Kart 64 has some good racetrack music. Yeah, they have some good music for a racetrack game, definitely. Race soundtrack, get it? Racetrack soundtrack. Race. <laughs> race. Um, Does that make you a racist? <laughs> 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 How about Golden Eye music? Oh, God, you're right. Now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, and I'm, think of, I'm trying to think of one more... I'm from Sega, I'm trying to think. Oh, uh, Fucking Rangers, if you ever can afford to buy that game, the soundtrack is badass. Oh, Golden Axe 2. Oh, man. Good, yeah. We, we did a little budget review a while back, and man, the music in that game is just epic. Uh, the the first level, uh, the, the village, uh, I forgot the name of the, sound, the song, Village, uh, Ravage Village or something, and then, uh, I mean... Dragon's Throat, or as Angel would say, Dragon's Vagina level. Um, <laughs> I mean, so that's the thing I can think of on top of my head. Castlevania Bloodlines. <laughs> forgot that oh, one. Oh, hello. Duh. Man, how could I forget that? Castlevania freaking Bloodlines, dude. Oh, man. I mean, that's why they put some of the... Uh, in Castlevania Adventure Rebirth, they put uh, the first stage music from Castlevania Bloodlines in that game. And, and of course, we got soul. to talk about... Yeah, yeah Reincarnated Soul. And uh, also, Dracula's Curse, Castlevania 3 for the NES, awesome soundtrack. Yeah. Oh. So, uh, what do you say, Jay? What well, sucks. Okay, anyway, we got Jeff. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Any, more, any more personal favorites? Oh, heck yes. Oh, yes. I was trying to say before, I mean, seriously, if you can afford to buy it, go out and get the Burning Rangers soundtrack. I have that damn song, Angels with Burning Hearts, stuck in my head. I don't know, something between a combination of jazz and rock, it's just awesomeness. Is that game about... Uh, you put out fires in the future and you save people? <laughs> uh, I thought it was about uh, Ranger Trevette and Walker being on fire. Oh, to the burning sky we die. Well, okay, God, I gotta quit singing. I'm not singing <laughs> sucks compared to the, compared to, uh, I can't remember, uh, I can't remember the guy's name who sung it. He's like a popular American musician, though. 
He used to be into Big Man. But anyway, I digress. Moving on, there's a water. Any Water Arms game has a great soundtrack to it. The old Western time scenes are just awesome. Oh, and, Met, uh, Metroid and Super Metroid. There you go. Yeah, I need you for getting something. Oh if, yeah. Yeah. If you, want good, if, if you just want to listen to music that's really catchy that'll get stuck in your head, just play a Space Channel Five game. That music, I swear to, I swear to everything that the theme song will just get stuck in your head and it will not leave. It's like a tumor. It's not a tumor. It's not it's a, a tumor. tumor. Oh, it's speaking that's... of that, uh, Kindergarten Cop for the Super Nintendo, that has some good music. <laughs> I didn't know the game Cop for the Super Nintendo. That is kind of sad. <laughs> um, I, I'll tell you what's sad. They actually got home improvement for Super Nintendo. Did you know that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, and I haven't played it, but I've seen it on YouTube. Like, oh, are you kidding me? I want to play it's as like, Al Borland. I want to play as Tim Taylor. No. But they, but they also made that, that cool Penn and Teller game that was never released. I thought it was released. I thought I've seen it. Or I guess it's just heard. No, a guy, uh, a guy found it, one of the programmers in, and kept it, and he released it online for people for free. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, I gotta mention this soundtrack. Uh, the only RPG I probably ever cared about in my life, Shadowgate. That game is pretty good soundtrack. Wasn't that just like a first-person movement? You know. Yeah, it's one of those uh, <laughs> old school movements. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kind of like a, kind of like Eye of the Beholder for uh, the PC back in the day. Uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's like okay, if you remember my Deja Vu video. Let's check out Deja Vu. It's exactly yeah. like that. It's yeah, exactly I, like that, except it's a different game. It's it's Shadowgate. And, well, Deja Vu, there's a game with good music. Yeah, it has some catchy music on there. And Shadowgate, though, I mean, that, that game really scared me. Mm. You, you know uh, what you should do? Just, just to top your Let's Plays, Let's Play, Let's Play. Let's Play the no, game. No, 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 oh, I lost. no. Nothing can top the oh. Let's Play of uh, Game Genie that Billy Mitchell did. Oh, yeah, I've never seen that. Oh, uh, we got one thing. Uh... At this convention coming out, I'm going to. You can't say that there. Security will beat the crap out of you. I'm not going to the convention. I live. I know that, that, that's a rule though. Because that 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 phrase is stupid. So kids out there, don't ever say you lost the game at a convention, or security will come down and punch you in the face. Say you won point. the game. No, you don't mention the game. You don't mention the cake is a lie. Even though I like that catchphrase, you don't mention it. But anyway, moving on because I'm getting off topic way too much. Like always. Um, <laughs> uh, Mario Brothers games, of course. Classic okay. soundtrack right there. Yeah. And maybe now, um, awesome. it now. Like, oh, Mario Brothers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, was another, ooh, Rocket Knight Adventures had a pretty good, interesting soundtrack. You know, I never got to play that. I never oh, played that. Man. Never got to play that. Um, wait. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, uh, Little, Little Nemo the Dream Master and Star Tropics had good soundtracks. Awesome. Yes. <laughs> It's like silence. It's like oh, come on. Oh yes, they were. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, I agree. I agree. Little Remo. Like, yeah, little Nemo. I was about to say little Remo, but what the hell is that? Bash his skull in. Okay. Ah <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, you know what? I think I've ran out. I know there's more. You know what? Let me look real quick. Uh, in my little uh massive collection, I got here 20 games. Um, oh Ninja <laughs> Gaiden. There we go. Ninja Gaiden. Ninja oh, Gaiden. Soundtrack. Uh, yeah. Two uh, and three, also. Those are good. Ooh, uh, yeah, and let's not mention Crash Dummies or Target Renegade. Suck. Shut up, you fuck, you ruined it. Target, Target ruined Renegade it. sucks, we got, and you need to face the facts. No, it doesn't. Uh, actually, in all, like fairness, uh, in all fairness, the game sucks, but the music ain't that bad. Just ain't that bad, I'm gonna kill you guys. <laughs> See, that's why we got didn't vote for me to win the contest, because I bashed Target Renegade. But anyway, that's okay. Um, <laughs> oh, boo-hoo, we got to go get your tampon on. Oh. Oh. That, that, I, I threw down the gauntlet now. Oh, the gauntlet? Did you play that? Yeah. No. Actually, oh, uh, I got an awesome package from uh, Super Dan 88. He sent me gauntlet for the Sega Master System. It is awesome. The soundtrack's pretty interesting. Oh. Yeah, Sega Master System. They have some uh, good soundtracks. Um, let's see. We got Kung Fu Kid. Uh, which has some pretty catchy sound uh, soundtracks. Uh, pretty catchy music. Had a pretty catchy soundtrack. Um, right. And to be honest, that's probably it. I mean, I don't remember too much. Of, uh, awesome what about music. Fantasy Star? I had never played that. Oh, that's a good one, dude. I never, I never replayed that. Um, just Kung Fu Kid comes to mind. 
as I, I did a, a, a long time or no, a quick let's play of that a long back in 2008 Kung Fu Kid, probably the only Master System game I've ever done on my channel. Tough. So I'm gonna ch check that out. But uh, I'm I guess I'm done with my list of songs. Uh, we got. Oh, what about Jeff? Is Jeff? Has Jeff said this? Yeah, he said his you know parts. Is yeah, I'm about Sega. Yeah. Uh, Sega games. There, I don't know. There's a lot of good soundtracks for the Saturn. You just kind of have to look around. Like, uh, uh, D has really haunting soundtracks. Uh, Daytona USA and Sega Rally. How can I not mention Game Over Again? <laughs> of course. Or, or Game G Over Again. Yeah. Or at uh, Daytona USA, it's like G A M E O V E R. I love that. Or Daytona. Let's get away. It's, sorry. But I don't know, there's a lot of good soundtracks, especially for the Saturn. That was that was a good era for soundtracks. Also, if you manage to get your hands on a game called Sega Gaga, which is like a fan service <laughs> game from Sega. Lady uh, Gaga? Sega. No, no. Wait, Lady Sega. There, there's, an awesome, there's an awesome <laughs> Sega theme song in Japanese. Uh, oh, I, got, I want to mention real quick, Turtles in Time and Hopperstone Heist. Awesome soundtrack. Yay, there you go. Another Konami classic soundtrack there. Okay, uh, is that it, Jeff? That... I mean, on this soundtrack wise, it is. And all right, looks like you guys are finished with your little skadoodle, skadoodles of your soundtrack rundown. Oh, like yours is gonna be better. <laughs> Not saying it's better, but I definitely have a lot to go through. So of course, you know. I mostly talk about Tim Follian, and he's obviously, you can guess that he's my favorite video game composer of all time, you know. Doing great sounds just like Target Renegade. That is great. Shut up. Okay. Of course, a Silver Surfer, Treasure Master, Spider-Man and the X-Men and Arcade Revenge, Rock and Roll Racing, the Super Nintendo version, and Super Rock Road, the uh, Super Nintendo version. Any, listen to any of those soundtracks that I, that I said? None? Come on. Okay, Target Renegade... Sorry, game, but decent soundtrack, especially stage one. Yes, yeah, stage, right stage one. Stage one is not that bad. Just, I hope you do not mention regular Renegade. If you no, do, no, 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 then no. Uh, you really do suck. If you like that no, soundtrack, no, I don't. No, I don't. Yeah, unbelievable to say because Good. it's not Tim Good. Fallion. And uh, what's no, I don't. No, uh, uh, Doki Kadoki, whatever his name is. Doki Kadoki, Neoki Kadoka. That sounds off. So wait, oh, I'm not okay, done with, okay. But I'm not done with Tim Foley oh. see, I mean Tim Foley's done a lot of soundtracks, and really, I don't know one soundtrack that he's done that I'm not disappointed in. And every single song has been like, good. He's like, he's a god. That's why I love him so much. And he's like, Pictionary, which probably nobody even knows. There was a NES game called Pictionary, but it has a yeah. freaking awesome title theme. You know, check it out. It's you'll find it. And he also did, uh, what, what else? He did the st Starsky and Hutch of, like, the last generation consoles. That was pretty good. Is this like, a Starsky and Hutch video game? Yeah. On the PS2 wow. and the Xbox and GameCube. Wait, like, that literally counts. <laughs> Wait, Green, Green just joined the call? Wow. <laughs> Hold on, my baby brother and step to the room, and my baby sister's crying, my girlfriend's asleep, my younger grandpa's visiting, and... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I'll just wrap with Tim Foley so we could get to something else. But he's uh, like Indiana Jones in the Last Crusade. That was awesome. And uh, let's see, Time Tracks on the Sega Genesis. But the, that game was actually wasn't even released. But we got an awesome title theme. You should check that out, Jeff. It's Sega. Oh, yeah, another good thing would be Terror Tracks. Ah, uh, Time Tracks, Terror Tracks, Train Tracks. <laughs> it's all the same. No. And, yeah, and Moto X, which was an unreleased Super Nintendo game, but I got a hold of the title theme, so check that out, too, because Shameless Plugs are awesome. <laughs> yep. And, of course, so let's see, Miyoki Kodoka, one of the main uh, Sunsoft composers who done, uh, you know, Batman, Batman Return of the Joker, you know, um, NES and Genesis soundtracks, versions, and, uh, of course, Journey to Silius, which, in my opinion, is the best soundtrack Sunsoft has done. Don't you agree? Would you agree with that? Wait, better than Batman soundtrack? Yeah, Journey to Soyuz is freaking awesome. Huh. Actually, I don't remember much of the music in that game. Um, Damn it. I, 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 know, I know we did an LP of it, but I mean... I, I did an LP of it. Uh, well, hello, well, we was a part <laughs> of it there. There's yeah, no I in team. But there is an I in by. 
Uh, there's hey, an eye in. Uh, well, there's an eye in. Shut up. Oh wait. No. Uh, I anyway. Shut up. Uh, oh no. <laughs> of course, you know the great Sunsoft soundtrack classes, Blaster Master, Fester's Quest, uh, Superman, <laughs> Genesis, Fester's Quest. Oh, shut up. It's a good soundtrack. Can't just pick on the game because it's difficult or actually. Oh, well, I'm picking on it because it sucks. Whatever. But actually, I like Superman the Sega Genesis, and that was an awesome soundtrack, too. So suck you, like, you, you like Superman 64? <laughs> no, Superman the Sega Genesis. Something Jeff can relate to, because it's Genesis, you know. <laughs> Genesis does? Is it games for Sega consoles? Is it a bad game, just like those good games? What about, uh, believe it or not, LJN has some good soundtracks in some of the games, right, Riga? Yeah. Yeah, LJN and Rare, because they mostly, and this is where David Wise comes in, but, uh, well, yeah, last mention of Sunsoft would be, um, let's see, uh, Gimmick, which is a game only released in Europe, but that was awesome, along with Euphoria the Saga. So, anyway, <laughs> David Smart, which I could speak with J-Man, because if he was here, that's, he would just be like, oh, I like David Wise music. That is all. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, you know. This is J-Man, signing out. But yeah, I mean, most people would recognize David Wise from his Donkey Country soundtracks, 1, 2, and 3, Battletoads, Battletoads and Double Dragon, Battletoads and Battle Maniacs, freaking awesome. Oh yeah, Donkey Kong Country, awesome soundtracks there, all three games. Oh yeah, and um... Did he, did, did he compose the soundtrack in Donkey Kong 64? Uh, no, actually, Grant uh, Herkarp, Her who is another main composer in Rare, he did that one. Along with, well, he you know, did a good Banjo job. He... And Banjo Tooie. Uh, he did a good job in uh, DK64. Awesome music right there. Uh, what about awesome. Mario 64? We forgot to talk about that, did we? You hear what he said about Mario 64? Oh, you mean Super Mario 64? Yeah. Yeah, Koji Kondo. <laughs> no, not Super Mario 64. Just Mario 64, we got. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> but, uh, oh, you... Uh, you know, speaking to LJN, David Wise, not me on Elm Street. Yeah, not me on Elm Street. I was about to say that he did that. Oh yeah, awesome soundtrack right there. I mean, that, the last podcast we did—that's the opening, the opening and closing musics I uh, use from that game. So yeah, I mean, awesome soundtrack right there. Crappy game, good soundtrack. Yeah, and there's also Wizards and Warriors one, two, and three. You know, recognize Wiz- the NES games. Uh, Wizards Solstice. and Warriors. Yeah, Solstice. Yeah. That's Tim Bolin. Tim Bolin. Tim, yeah, Solstice is awesome. That's a hard puzzle game. I mean, uh, I'm not bashing it because it's hard, but man, that game is freaking hard and frustrating. But the soundtrack, awesome. Indeed. And uh, let's see. Um, okay, so uh, has anyone ever heard or played Battle Clash or Middle Combat Falcons Revenge on the Super Nintendo? That used the Super Scope role, which I have. I've heard of them. And I, the, the soundtrack, sorry, the best. Metal Combat Falcons Revenge to me is the best Super Nintendo soundtrack on the Super Nintendo. Yeah. Because I grew up with that, and it's freaking awesome. It's, uh, let's see, composed by Yuko, Yuka Tishiro Yoko, I don't know. But she also composed the, uh, yeah, she composed the uh, Fire Emblem series soundtracks. Mainly what she's known by. And Paper Mario and Paper Mario and Thousand Year Those are freaking awesome, too. Oh, God. Yeah, they unknown bought, they unknown bought me Paper Mario Thousand Year Door for Christmas, and I still barely played it, but I'm trying to. It's an awesome soundtrack. Super Mario, if I want to play, if I want to play a Mario RPG, I'll play Super Mario. Yeah, that uh, also brings up Yoko Shimura, who does Sumo RPG in the Mario and Luigi series. Okay. No, that's, that's, that's um, like, you know, never mind. Uh, we forgot, oh, I can't believe I forgot this, F-Zero soundtracks. Oh yeah, the F-Zero. F-Zero and pilot, and pilot Wings. If you like flight simulator games, uh, I don't really care about them that much, but Pilot Wings and... The, the Super Nintendo and 64 versions, awesome soundtracks and awesome game as well. Yeah, but at this point, because I know I'm not going to get through this this list that I knew that I have in my head. But, but I'm getting through the m- most important ones to me. Also, the, how about Bobby Prince, man? You know, Doom, Doom 2. You know, I have Doom really the I like his. That's the, that's my favorite meaty like soundtracks by Bobby Prince for the Doom series. Freaking awesome. Yeah. You know the early about- ones. How about the music for Game Genie? No, um. Oh yeah, by Nintendo. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but also like, uh, oh, one of my favorites that's like really like deep and emotional is uh, Akira Yamoka, who does the Silent Hill series soundtracks. Those are good. 
They're awesome. Right? No, no one's ever heard of them. You probably no, guys haven't, haven't heard of heard the soundtracks? No, I haven't. I, I've heard the, the original soundtrack was awesome. I don't know about the later ones. They're great. Um, a Mega Man X, the first game to be not 8-bit, I think. Um, yeah, it came out in 93, 94 for the Super Nintendo. Oh, man, the soundtrack is just freaking ECW in that game. I mean, yeah, so Mega Man X and X2 as well had awesome soundtracks. Once again, classic Capcom with the music. I know. Go Capcom. And Sunsoft. <laughs> Moonhard. Moonhard, yay. And uh, let's see, what else is there? The, the the guy who does all the Pokemon soundtracks. Like Jun, Junchi Masude. Masude, he's... Yeah, it does, I like the Pokemon soundtracks. Those are good. Oh, man, how about Plumbers Don't Wear Ties? Oh, my God. Are you freaking insane? Yes, I am. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this is the worst music ever. Uh, oh, man. Dun, 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 and horrible stock music. The, the horrible title screen that a, a group of college kids put together for a final project. Or like a group of kindergartens. I mean, oh, that's r- ridiculous. I but, mean, oh, man. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen it, go and check Jeff's Let's Play of the Game on the S2K channel. That's that's the most viewed LP, as a matter of fact. Now, I know, thanks to ABGN and, and the tags, but still, <laughs> that's the most viewed LP on the channel. Check that out. No, yeah, the music is... Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's like horrible. Yeah, uh, I mean, I'll, I'll give, you know... Crash Dummies is much better. Um, Incredible Crash Dummies by Geoff Folian. Uh, it's Jeff. It's it's Jeff Folian. I like Geoff. Uh, some people spell years. some people spell Jeff like that. Some people spell their name Jeff like that. Well, I like Geoff. It sounds better. Yeah. Well, your geography. Oh, uh, oh my god. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, any more we got? No, well, there's a lot more, but for the main ones, yeah, I got through most of the main ones I mentioned. You know. Tim Foley, of course, and David Wise, and Koji Kondo, and the Sunsoft guys. All great people. What about Taboo? Taboo for the that's, NES. That's David Wise, but yeah, it was pretty yeah, cool. That's pretty creepy. Creepy music, yeah. Pretty good. Um, what about Euphornication, or whatever it's called? Euphoria? Euphoria, the, Euphoria, the saga. I mentioned that, too. <laughs> Quit forgetting everything. Okay. Well, you mentioned so many. You talk slow for once. No, um. Okay, I guess that's it for the music. Uh... I guess we can go ahead and move to next to uh, uh, I guess we can go ahead and move on to our favorite video game characters. Yeah. And I don't know what my favorite. I guess mine might be Mega Man because Mega Man 2 is my favorite game of all time. But um, let's be honest. The whole Kogan of video game characters is Mario. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's the most famous one, the most popular one, the most legendary one. I mean, he he his game on the NES along with other great NES games, is what pretty much saved the the uh, video game industry during the video game crash era, 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 era. Video game crash in 1983. Yeah, and then Nintendo came out with NES in 85, and then with Mario Brothers and other great games, and uh, yeah, I mean, so Mario, the most legendary video game icon of all time. And, uh, Let's see, Sonic the Hedgehog, another big video game icon. So, so yeah, Jeff can relate to that, right, Jeff? Heck yes, yeah. Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, that's all I got. <laughs> um, and uh, let's see, some of the Street Fighter characters. Uh, Chun Li, as I mentioned before, had a big crush on her when I was a kid. <laughs> um, he had a he had a body pillow with a picture of Chun Li on it. Mm-hmm. How did you know that? <laughs> Uh, um, and let's see, uh, of course, Ryu, Ken, Sagat, Bison, mm-hmm. pretty much all the original Street Fighter characters, except for Dao Sing, sucked. Uh, Gaio, eh, alright. Hey, um, what, about, what about a movie? I mean, come on, John Con Van Damme as Gaio? I mean, what's what's not better than a Frenchman being? I'm, I'm talking about the game, not the movie. I know, I know. Well, what about the movie, The Game? Actually, <laughs> that's really an okay game. Isn't that weird? They made uh, a movie of the game, then they made the game of a movie that's based off the game. It's like, I want to be the guy. The movie, the game. <laughs> the guy, the game, the movie, the, st- the saga, the story. Um, 
Okay, who else? Uh, Doctor Wally, one of my favorite villains of all time from the Mega Man series. Uh, hey, I think he's much better than Doctor Robotnik. Doctor Robotnik comes comes off uh, just stupid. <laughs> kind of, I mean, it, it, you're kind of an idiot. Uh, Doctor Wally would pwn him. Doctor Wally is a genius, but yeah, Doctor Robotnik is kind of like the idiot. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see, I cannot, well, I know we're talking about favorites, but we can, we can bash some sorry characters, too. Uh, I can uh, I cannot stand Tails. Tails is lame. Tails is pretty lame. What, you think we all like Tails? Poor oh. Tails. It in the damn way. I mean, yeah, he messes you up in the Sonic 2 bonus stages, or the Emerald stages, whatever you call them. Oh, man, that really tipped me off so bad. But, um, let's see, uh... Uh... I guess Simon from Simon's Quest, because that's my favorite <laughs> Castlevania game of all time. He hate Simon himself. <laughs> um, jump. Solid Snake is ECW. Um, he's, he'll, he'll always be my favorite video game character of all time. I don't care what anyone says. Solid Snake wins every time. Yep. Well, uh, Ocelot and Metal Gear Solid was awesome. He's a, that's a cold-blooded villain right there. Yeah, I know. Don't mess, don't mess with Ocelot. Yeah, yeah really. Batman. <laughs> you like Batman? Too. I'll mess with the Batman. I don't care about the Batman. Batman. I was gonna say it was funny, wasn't it? Metal Gear Solid One or Two, where he goes, "I'm Revolver." Yeah. Twirls, his, twirls his gun for thirty minutes. <laughs> Ocelot. Here comes great. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the first one. Yeah, the ninja cuts off his arm. Look, my head. Aha! <laughs> uh-huh. Irony. <laughs> That's how Master Hand was born. He got cut off from a body, and now he's hand is you know he's just a hand. So he's kind of like Liquid Snake. Yeah. Oh, he's he's like, yeah. yeah that, that makes that you know only in Metal Gear Solid would that make any sense. How uh, Liquid lives on for a fucking hand. But um, I don't remember that. What, what are you talking about? Okay, uh, Rawr's like it's his hand chopped off. Well, he gets uh Liquid's hand I like, somehow, and in the second one that's who he has, so Liquid is trying to take control of Ocelot's body, so there's a hand. Oh, yeah, I, I remember that, yeah. It's like, that made no sense, unless you're, like, half crazy. It's dark raving. Well, right? yeah, I guess the, it's the genome genes that overtook Ocelot's body from the hand. I don't know. But, uh, anyway, uh, I degree. I mean, degree. I dig- digress. Um, digress. Digress. <laughs> uh, Learn English, mister. Uh, oh, Learn English. Right. All its courses. Um, and... Gotta have him in Texas, because everyone's a millionaire. Dracula's always been one of my favorite video game characters. Dracula, uh, it, Dracula's cool, but he's also kind of secretly gay, if you think about it. <laughs> Look how he lives. Like, he lives very fabulously. Fabulous. Uh, well, let's, uh, let's see. I'm trying to think. Um, 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 so. um, let's take um, lols. Um, I know. Actually, I, I know. have to say, I mean, Proto Man. Proto Man. Proto Man's kind of like you know the, the emo robot. Yeah, the emo robot, and you know, Mega Man's a goody goody, and Proto Man's like, you know, a good guy too, but the anti good guy. You know. Oh, of course, yeah, you're right. Give Proto so, Man a chance. Yeah, he's the emo brother of Mega Man. He's pretty cool. Oh, Link. How I can't not mention Link. Uh, one of the greatest video game heroes of all time. The hero of time. Um, I so yeah, Link, awesome. I mean Jay from Journey to Silius. <laughs> no one cares about Journey to Silius. Oh, oh, bitch. How about how about the guy from Target Renegade? What's his name? Guy. <laughs> Bimmy Lee. Uh, uh, Bimmy Jimmy Lee from Double Dragon. <laughs> Are those cool kid video game characters? I don't really care. Uh, I love Double Dragon too, but I don't really care about the characters. Oh, let's talk about Streets of Rage characters. No, you already did that. Ah, uh, no characters. Or that Street Fighter. I forget. Street Fighter, Street Fighter. They would have streets in their name. <laughs> Roads of Madness. No, um, and I mean, you got Axel, Blaze, and Adam from Part One. And then in Part Two, Adam's kidnapped, and you play as his kid brother Skate, who is freaking ECW. Skate is awesome. But that guy Max, that wrestler. Oh, he's sorry. He's so slow. And I couldn't stand using him. Yeah, screw the big fat guy. <laughs> he moves well. <laughs> um, 
Uh, Shinobi. I like Shinobi. He's a pretty cool ninja. And, and Ryu, or the ninja guy in Ryu. <laughs> no, I think Shinobi will whoop him. Well, I went or to Ryu, ninja guy, so... Do a fight! Ninja fight! We must come for a fight! Um... Uh... I can't think of any more. What about you guys? Well, um, uh, Luigi's uh, like Luigi. Luigi's my favorite video game character of all time. Go, Luigi! I mean, yeah. yeah, Mario's all big and mighty, but... I mean, he's so too overrated. Give Luigi a chance, to... damn it. Oh, to... Bowser. Bowser's awesome. Yeah, that's a good go. villain. He's much better than Wart. Wart. Oh, God, yeah. Wart. He only made one appearance ever, and he sucked. <laughs> he really sucked. Bowser was freaking ECW. He, he was so scary looking to me when I was a kid in Mario 1. Hey, just the way he looked. And you try to, you got, you know, you make, make sure he jump and so you can run under him and jump on the axe real quick. Well, those are fake Bowsers, and then, of course, you fought the real one at the end. But, and then they all fought the same, except, like, some of them throw hammers at you and fireballs or whatever. But, uh, but then Bowser, you know, in, in Ma and Mega Man 3. Mario 3, I mean, Bowser, um, you know, became more challenging, and you could figure out how to beat him at first. You're like, do I jump on top of him? Do I shoot him? With you, know, you can actually shoot him, you know, with enough, think, hammers and fireballs. He finally, finally dies. Yeah. But then another way is to like make him jump through the floor, and uh, then of course he, man, he was like on steroids in Mario 64. So yeah, I mean uh, Bowser, awesome. Also, let's mention uh, Samus, Samus, Samus Aran, however you say her yeah, name. Samus. Yeah. Uh, awesome and hot freaking video <laughs> game character. Whoa. Okay then. We don't want to know about your fantasies. And uh, one time I was thinking, no, um, and. Uh, Mother Brain is a freaking scary villain, especially Super Metro, where she drools all over the place and screams. Ew. Um, how about the giant Metroid? <laughs> yeah, that's cool. That scared me to death when I first seen that. I was like, how am I going to beat this thing? Oh, wait, it's on my side. Lols. Um. Mm, I like Fox McCloud from Star Fox. He's cool, especially his father. Yeah, I never yeah. got into Star Fox. Yeah, it sucks for you, though. <laughs> uh, Little Arrow Roll. That's Peppy. <laughs> Ridley from Super Metroid is pretty cool. Yeah, he's a cool <laughs> dragon. Or whatever the hell Brent, he is. He is a dragon, Brent, yeah. Uh, Brent Brennstar. Uh, what's what's the boss's name in Brennstar? Kraid. Kraid? Uh, I mean, he looks awesome in Super Metroid, but he's easy, so he, he kind of sucks. Uh... Mm. Oh yeah, hello, Ganondorf. Oh yeah, Ganondorf. Ganondorf. Ganon, especially in Ocarina of Tom. Oh man, I wonder who went out of him. A three-way match between him, Mother Brain, and Bowser. That'd be freaking awesome right there. I I say Ganon will probably win, unless Mother Brain uses that super scope ray to suck the energy out of both of them. I don't know. <laughs> super scope. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Bison's a pretty evil mother. I already mentioned him, though. Oh, yeah. You did? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, by M. Bison. Sha yeah. Shao Kahn was an awesome villain in Mortal Kombat. You suck. Mortal Kombat! <laughs> yeah, what about, uh, any favorite Mortal Kombat characters? I like Scorpion. Get over here. Scorpion and Sub-Zero. That, yeah. that Sub-Zero's finishing move on the Genesis, when you your spine out, that's just freaking cold blooded no pun intended. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, seriously, that, oh, man, I first did that, like, that's sick. Oh, man, but awesome. Uh, and Goro was freaking scary when we first encountered him. That's, he was fucking impossible. It's like, I can't she, beat him. Yeah, and, and but his dad or whoever, Kentaro? Yeah, the dad. Mortal Kombat 2? Well, yeah, his dad, yeah, it's his father, I think, trying to get revenge on Mortaro. killing Goro. Yeah. Mortaro, no, Ken, Mortaro. No, no, Mortaro was the half-horse. Half, uh, oh, whatever. I'm, I'm getting confused. He was a pain too, but Kentaro, that guy was, oh, that guy was a beast, and, uh, and not just literally. I mean, he really, that guy was a beast, man. He was a monster. Um, I had to fight so cheap, Mortal Kombat 2, just to beat him somehow. Oh man, I did like try to keep jump kicking him and moving him away until the time expired, and that's how I went. Um, so yeah, let's see. Um, I like the Doom guy, the Doom guy from Doom. Doom got Doom got 2K the YouTuber. Oh, 
No, the guy from Doom. I know, dumb. No, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Red Falcon was pretty awesome in Contra. Oh yeah, the Red Falcon. Yeah, the, uh, and, and from Contra, the first for the first one for the NES, you fight you fight his face at first. I guess that's him, and then oh, you yeah. destroy his face and you go onto his heart. Oh yeah, you, yeah, that's pretty oh, awesome. Oh no, Mike Anderson. Hey. No one who probably even knows who the hell he is. He's who? from um, Battle Clash and Middle Combat Falcon's Revenge. Favorite Super Nintendo soundtracks. Yeah, he's very underrated. No one probably even knows who the hell he is, but I like him. He's awesome. I like my games. Uh, uh, Red Falcon and Super Contra was lame. He was so easy. I mean, he's kind of easy in Contra also, but Super Nintendo version, it was a joke. You just stand in one spot, and I think, especially if you have the spread gun, like you stand on a certain part of the, of, uh, of a Red Falcon or statue, whatever you're fighting, and then you'll be within seconds. I was like, no. okay. How was some of the other bosses like Jagger Freud and and the other bosses harder than this? That's, that's, that's ridiculous. He's the final boss. And Jagger Freud, Pink Floyd, whatever his name is, is freaking <laughs> ugly, by the way. Oh, man. Yeah, he ain't so pretty. Yeah. Um, girl, uh, I can't think of... How about Shredder? <laughs> Shredder and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah, Shredder. Not really a video game character, just a uh, main you know, comic book character, a cartoon character, but he's awesome in the games. Yes, he um, is. And that's all I can think of right now. Jeff, what about you? Uh, any more Sega characters? Yeah. Oh, see, I don't, I don't know. I'm oh, trying. good. Oh, you're awake. Okay. <laughs> Oh, funny, funny. Yeah, I'm tired from putting up here to keep talking. But Donkey Kong. Oh, Donkey Kong. Diddy Kong. Any other Kongs? Oh, yeah. K, uh, K. Rogue kind of got my nerves. He sucked. Not that he really sucked. He just got my nerves. Not one of my favorites. But he, is, he was hard, though, in part in 64. Oh. Part 64. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, what are you going to say, Jeff? Well, I don't know. I mean, I don't, there's a lot of, like, Sega secondary characters. I mean, you know, you got you already covered Shinobi, you covered Sonic. Like the the cops from Virtual Cop, they were kind of interesting. They had their own story. Uh, what else? I'm trying to think of something like that actually had a real good story. Oh, what about the guy in uh, Plumbers Don't Wear Ties? The the, the bad guy. Take yeah, your damn off. clothes off. <laughs> yeah, that guy. <laughs> the That's the best villain of all time because of that line. The boss. Oh my god. <laughs> Anyway. Give him a raise. Oh. Who? I said she knows how to give him a raise. Oh, okay. They're the ones that get hit. I mean the head. That was the dumbest thing I've ever heard in a video game. <laughs> hey, all you base up belong to us is better. It's my creation. Is it me? Sorry. What character is that? <laughs> Weird Science. It's the theme song from Weird Science. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, Um. Yeah, I can't think of any more. Neither can I. I'm sure. uh, right. Who? I said neither can I. Oh, I thought I said, oh, can I. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I think I've ran out. I can't think of a... Uh, I'll tell you what, I don't like, I don't like him, but the, the Jaquio, the Jaquio from Ninja Gaiden got my freaking nerves. He was so hard. Um, I'll tell you that... What, the lamest villain I've probably ever fought was probably, uh, what, Toro from Wrath of the Black Manta? I think that was a joke. I gave it like, like, a joke. I mean, for those of you who haven't seen it, go to the S2K channel, watch Wrath of the Black Manta. The final boss, he holds it like a kid in front of him. He got used to certain uh, ninja arts in certain orders to beat him. And he looks like Mr. Burns for the sunburn, first of all. Uh, sunburn? <laughs> But, um, There's also a parody of that. It's uh, one of the. It's on the uh, Captain S Holiday Special. They do a parody of that. I mean, except, uh, he, has, except he has Santa hostage, <laughs> which is pretty uh, funny. But wait, I got uh, one more. Who? The last ones. Uh, the Silent Hill characters, in, like all the games. Well, mainly all the first four, like. No. Oh yeah, that, Harry that, 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 and that, James and Heather and Henry. That got me thinking. About a character from Resident Evil. I want a game with oh, Barry yeah. Burton. Not, not Gaiden, but, you know, uh, a good game with Barry Burton. Chris Redfield. 
Uh, he always hits a game. Yeah, Leon. Oh, give me fucking Barry and this big ass, you know. He's a big, tall guy owning this fucking 44 long barrel magnum killing people. Oh, no, that'd be a good game. I would. I would I would buy that. I would buy that. Uh, Shane DeSoon from Mortal Kombat. He was awesome because he morphed to different characters. And at the time, you're like, oh, man, this guy's going to morph into, you know, Scorpion, Sub-Zero and all that. And I think Goro as well. So, yeah. yeah, so I think we can't uh, think of any more, except we got to wrap it up with this. Yeah. The survival arts characters. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, man. Check out Sicko Fans Review and then my video response to survival arts. Probably the worst arcade game, worst game, period. Plumbers Don't Wear Ties is more entertaining, and I'm not kidding, because at least Plumbers Don't Wear Ties is so stupid. You know, that, that's kind of funny and entertaining to watch. But then again, Survival Arts is kind of the same way. You might have to play it for the lulls, not for good gameplay. I mean, you got, uh, just like Sycophant said, you know, one of the characters on there, Mongo, you know, is like, he, Sycophant said, it, he's convinced that the company Sammy that made the game went into an Arby's restaurant and just picked out a bunch of random civilians, civilians and said, hey, why don't you come be in our game? I mean, because <laughs> some of those characters look, they look, I mean, just so generic and, or, Garbage men or janitors, and, and they, they look stupid. And, uh, and, and Sigma Fence described Mongo as, uh, you know, someone that looks like, you know, some ball guy that looks like either Dick Vitale or Hayden Fox from Coach. <laughs> oh, wow. oh, man. So that game, all you, uh, and then the final boss, if you remember who that is, his name is Dantel. He looks like Richard Simmons on steroids or something. Oh, man. That that was oh so hilarious how he just described that guy. It just does it like Richard Simmons. Like back in the day, we had like long frizzy hair or whatever. Yeah. Oh. And back in the so 70s, if you want to see, yeah, if you want to see like, if you want to see the most lousy, ridiculous characters of all time, other than plumbers or water ties, check out Survival Arts for the arcade. Oh, we also got Tattoo Assassins, which is supposedly you know the even worse than that. A true. Mortal Kombat ripoff that came out one year after Mortal Kombat. Yeah, Tattoo Assassins. So, uh, oh, Tattoo man. Assassins? Yes, Tattoo Assassins. Tattoo Assassins, yes. That was Ninja. No, that was Ninja. No, 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 no. Was no it was Ninja. Ninja. I'm thinking of yeah. that. Right. All you gotta do is ta- type in Tattoo Assassins, Sycophant, or just type in Tattoo Assassins, you'll find it. In the- oh, man. Yeah, so. Uh, I guess that is pretty much it for video game music and characters. So, uh, guess we're going to go ahead and wrap it up here. So uh, thank you for listening. So until next time, uh, we'll see y'all later. This is Ron Moore. This is Week at 3 and 9. This is Jeffrey. I'm a pancake. Okay. Uh, God bless and take care. I like waffles. Actually, French toast. <laughs>